So today we're going to take you through just the care of an esophagostomy tube or a pharyngostomy tube in tortoises. So they have these placed for various different reasons. Um, in awkward tortoises, if you can't give them medications, it allows you to medicate them. Or in tortoises that aren't eating, we can put a syringe feed down these tubes. So we can see here we've protected the tube against the shell and the big scales on the legs. We've covered the one next to the tube so they can't hook the scales into the suture material on the tube and pull that straight out. So you want to make sure that the tape stays in place it stays clean and it stays dry now this little guy you can just see on the side of his neck here you can see the tube going into the side of his neck now we want to make sure that we check this daily that there's not any discharge here there's no swelling or bleeding and most tubes have got a little numbers on the side so you can see here we're just round about the number eight we want to make sure that that tube stays in that position so we've got eight nine and ten you just keep it just in front of the eight here. We know that that tube isn't moving in and out of the neck and therefore is in the right position. So your vet should have taped the tube to the top of the shell and most of the tubes will come with a little bung on the end that stays covered or should always stay covered. When we're giving medications, it's really important that we want to flush the tube before and after things that we're putting down there. So in this instance, I'm just gonna flush it with some water. So just give it a little bit of a flush and then we can close that tube off. So we make sure that we can see all these tiny little bubbles moving their way around. There's no resistance there. And normally if we were feeding him or putting medications, we would flush, pop the medications down the tube and then flush a small amount of fluid afterwards to push those medications and food through that tube. So we want to close the bung off afterwards, make sure that tube is in place. We want to make sure that the tape is on the shell and on the leg to protect it. And we want to make sure that that tube is still in place and that there's no swelling or discharge from the surgical site.